I just need to clip some leaves from my mint on the roof. Ah! How did this happen? Yeah, that mint grew fast. If it isn't carefully tended to, it can run over anything in its path. I can take care of that easy peasy. With what, clippers? Uh, something like that. <laughs> the Incinerate 5000. I'll go get it. Have you seen Lemon use that thing? Wait up, Lemon. Let me help you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't see this ending well. There are less destructive ways to take care of an overgrown plant. Clint would never forgive himself if anything happened to his friends. Clint? Who's Clint? The mint. You know I speak plant. I think I speak for all plants when I say plants can't speak. According to Farmer Fig's latest guide to gardening, the first thing we need to do is trim the vines. Wait! You can't cut his vines now! Clint's playing rock, paper, scissors. Great move. Another W for the Clintster. <laughs> Yes, Gerald, I know a piece of paper wouldn't beat a rock in real life. This guy. Mm. Farmer Fig says spraying a solution of salt, soap, and vinegar will tame unwanted plant growth. Clint, old chum, I'm here for you. Tell this berry what we should do. Whoa, you're trying to make Clint sad. Soap, salt, and vinegar smells real bad. Mm. Clint says I should go on tour. Oh, what a charmer. We'll never get this done if Blueberry shoots down every idea. Then maybe ask her what she thinks. She thinks she speaks plant. We don't always need to agree with our friends. Just listen to them. Clint, don't worry. I'm thinking about something. Blueberry, what do you think we should do? It's not about me. Let's ask Clint. Just so you know, Farmer Fig says that if we dig the mint roots up, we can... Move, move it into, into its, its own, own pot! pot. <gasps> Did you just agree with Farmer Fig? No. Clint agreed with Farmer Fig. He also said he'd be most comfortable if you did the digging lime. He trusts you. You're really smart. for the leaves, Clint. Bye, Clint! I still don't believe that plants can talk. But it was nice of you to say it was smart. Thank you, Clint. <gasps> oh. And done. Here you go. Thanks, Thanks strawberry. strawberry. <laughs> All right, it's incinerate time! <laughs> Actually, Blueberry and Lime work together to take care of the mint. But I saved you some pie. Let's do this! Or pull! <laughs> oh, I meant for you to eat that. I love the smell of burnt pie in the morning. Anybody else done? What's <gasps> uh. <laughs> up? Between the crowd and the 75 mini peach trifles, I need to bake for peach trifle. I'm swamped! Need help? What I need is two of me. The moment I've been waiting for. Meet the Cakeinator 6! Oh, wait, the Cakeinator? <laughs> what happened to 1 through 5? Worry about it. I, I don't know, Lemon. Come on. The Cakeinator's programmed to bake the perfect treat. It's just like having two of you. Well, uh, how's it work? Just pop a Sparkberry in its mouth and tell it what to bake. Uh, okay. <laughs> ah! 
I am the Cakeinator. <laughs> I need 75 mini peach trifles. 75 mini peach trifles confirmed. Okay, so I usually mix it with my lucky spoon, and then I... Lucky spoon does not compute. Activate mixer fingers. So, after the whole oven fiasco, I was nervous about another lemon invention, but that Cakeinator gets things done. The cakes need 30 minutes to bake. You can't rush perfection. 30 minutes does not compute. Activate repulsor and... Oh, okay, wow. You baked it in no time. But don't rush layering in the peaches and cream. That takes... finesse. Welcome to the extraordinary berry. One apple fritter, please. I'm so sorry, honeydew sorbet, but we're sold out of fritters today. Sold out does not compute emergency apple fritter protocol. Well, I guess you don't need me. <laughs> I'll just, I'll take a little break back here. Little break does not compute. Of course it doesn't. What kind of baker am I supposed to be if a robot can do my job? I guess I'm not as special as I thought. We stop, Ellie. My fit is different today. Oh, the Cakeinator didn't add the dash of cinnamon you like. Strawberry, that metal version of you put berries on my pie. And won't give me extra powdered sugar. Sorry, Huck. A new berryless piece coming up. And I've got your powdered sugar right here. Extra ingredient does not compute. Imperfect item does not compute. Our treats don't have to be perfect, Cakeinator. They just need to be made with love. That's the Strawberry Shortcake Touch. Mwah. Strawberry Shortcake Touch does not compute. What happened? I told it our treats didn't have to be perfect, that they just needed a little love, and it blew up. Love, huh? That tracks. Lemon, I think it's better if I handle the baking by myself. It's okay. I got another idea. Let me guess, the Cakeinator 7? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> What's with all the yelling? My strawberry pies. I set them out to cool and look! I even put a sign out, hot pies, only eat when cool. But now, some berry decides to come along and gobble them up. This really bakes my bread, you know? Who would do such a horrible thing? Oh, I can find the culprit. Yes! Lime is an awesome detective. Is that a donut? Crack a clue, take a bite. I've read a lot of Apricot Christie mysteries. I know all the tricks to find the who, what, where, when, and hi. Hum. <clears throat> also, I really like donuts. I don't think there are many clues to go on. It's all just a mess. Yes, this crime scene is a mess. No berry would eat pie like this. We are clearly looking for an animal. An animal? <gasps> This cat's paws don't match the markings in your pies. Therefore, she is innocent. Ha. Wow, you are good. Oh, I'm just getting started. Red Hot the Ferret, our next suspect. He is? What do you know about it? Ferret. Get out of town. Red Hot would never steal from a baker as sweet and generous as Strawberry. Aww. Thank you, Huck. Besides, he's been with me all day. Uh, hey, let us help. Leave no bag of flour unturned, no critter unquestioned, no pie left behind. I was at a 
dead end. I checked every animal, followed every lead, but I had nothing. Are you narrating right now? Here, Huck, you can have the last bite. I don't deserve it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, it's okay, Lime. You tried your best. I'll just have to keep a closer eye on... Huckleberry Pie did it. <gasps> I would never. You ate my donut like an animal. Just like the pies. Why would I steal from Strawberry? She gives me pies for free. Um, say what now? Her sign said, hot pies only eat when cool. Strawberry likes my music. She thinks I'm cool. So she leaves those pies out for me. That's not what the sign means, is it? Not, not even way. a little. Wow. I stole the pies, didn't I? Yeah, uh -huh. totally. Just wow. Oh, I'm sorry, Strawberry. I really did think those were thank you pies for my smooth and jazzy tunes. I do think you're cool, and your tunes are very smooth and jazzy. <laughs> Just check with me next time. There's still one mystery left. Why do you eat pies like that? Big Apple Fair's pie eating champion, three years in a row. No better way to enjoy a pie. Okay, fairies, on your mark. Get set. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Pies do taste better this way. Another mystery? So, Cranberry jams is the most important ingredient in any dish is love. Unless that dish is gooseberry pie. Then it's gooseberries. Nutritious, delicious, and makes me ambitious. I'm training for the all-city cherry-thon, and nothing gets me amped like gooseberry smoothie. I need some quality gooseberries to nail this recipe. Fortunately, Orange Blossom told me there's only one place in Big Apple City to get good gooseberries. Mr. Mangosteen's Fruit Stand. Good, good morning, morning, Mr. Mangosteen. Morning, girls. What can I do for you? One, one carton, carton of gooseberries, gooseberries, please. I'm sorry, girls, but I just sold out. Last batch is going to Mrs. Crumbcake all the way across town. Oh. No. Of course, it was a big order. I bet she'd have enough berries left over for just one more recipe. <gasps> oh, there goes my delivery boy now. You should have the berries. You told me about the fruit stand. Uh, no, you should have them. I insist. Okay, bye. Seriously? <laughs> Orange is fast. <laughs> and on your left, you can see Sunberry, who will not be getting any gooseberries today. <laughs> no pictures. Wow. Shortcakes is resourceful. Orange is fast, but hey, she's not gonna beat a bus, right? Please tell me she won't. I'll save you some berries! Yeah, it uh, really, really gets crowded in here, doesn't it? I know, right? Lighting? That's unfair. Unfair? You got on a bus. That's a really good point. I need wheels. <laughs> Hello, girls. What can I do for you? Gooseberries! If, if I don't, I don't get, get them, them, I can't, can't make my pineapple. Oh dear, I was just going to use them to make juice for my granddaughter. Glammy Crumbcake says gooseberry juice will make me big and strong. You know what? It's not a big deal. <laughs> uh, I've 
think we're at the wrong house. Enjoy that gooseberry juice. So, that got weird. It did. You wrote an ostrich. I did. We got a little carried away. No berry is worth all that. Totally, totally. Especially since elderberries would be a great substitute in a pie anyway. Oh, yeah. I mean, they have the same nutritional value as gooseberries. I saw one last star at Mangelstein's. Business at the Extraordinary Berry is booming, which is fantastic. Just one teeny tiny problem. Oh, my teeny tiny oven. I can't bake fast enough to keep every berry happy, which is a good problem. But still, it is a problem. My cranberry jam says every problem has a solution. I don't know anything about fixing ovens, but I know some berry who does. So, Lemon, what do you think? You came to the right berry. I'll give you an oven like no berry has ever seen before. Uh, nothing crazy. A little bigger. Maybe a second oven rack? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oven rack. Got it. Okay, let me know if you need any. And you're gone. I'm gonna turn that oven into a baking feast. tubes in your truck! Powerful, energy efficient! This oven is not messing around! I guess I can work with this. With six burners, I can finally make every color of that rainbow fudge pad a shoe I wanted to try. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Lemon, let's see what your oven can do. Lemon really came through for me. I was afraid she'd get carried away and cause some kind of disaster. But I guess I should have trusted her. No, never mind. There it is. Um, Lemon, <laughs> maybe the oven is a little too powerful, I don't know. What do you mean? This is great! <laughs> Maybe I can turn it down a little. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's uh oh? What's uh oh? Run. Fudge turned out great. I'll make a few adjustments. Smaller? Mm, smaller. Less explosive. Duh. Less explosive. And pink. Pink? Oh, come on! Okay. Pink. Introducing the Very Berry Oven. Now this oven says strawberry shortcake. I adjusted the spark berry intake so the oven won't go kablooey. Still pretty powerful, though. Even if it is. Ugh, pink. Thank you, Lemon. Oh, little battle, I'm never gonna blend batter with this old mixer. Mixer, huh? I can take a look. What mixer? Oh, what? Did you say mixer? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just gonna stir this the old-fashioned way. Yeah, no more inventions needed here. <laughs> No berry. Boom! Oh, there's a popsicle stick! You scared the strawberries out of me! That's the idea. It's nearly frightful. It's my first frightful in Big Apple City. I need to come up with a creepy cup 
cake. I'm sure you'll come up with something frightfully fitting. <laughs> uh, if you see the ghost, say hi for me. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the what now? <gasps> Blueberry, wait up! <sighs> uh, hold on. <laughs> Did you say ghost? Yup, J. Quincy Cupcake. He was the owner of the Berry Works when it was still a cupcake factory. Oh, J. Quincy was a perfectionist who checked every cupcake for the tiniest blemish. I'm gonna throw him mad! Some folks say his spirit still roams the Berry Works at night. Oh, judging any baker working late. And alone. But you've never actually seen J. Quincy Cupcake's ghost, right? Huh? Oh, golly, I wish. I've tried to meet him for years. Maybe tonight you'll be the lucky berry. Have fun. Okay, a cupcake obsessed ghost. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Great, great, great. Yeah. Not creepy at all. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake is scared of ghosts. Let's give her a frightful treat she will never forget. Ooh, okay, it's fine. It's totally fine. You're just gonna grab your lucky spoon and bake. There is absolutely nothing to be scared of! Woo! Just the lights, Strawberry. It's just the lights. Stop flickering! Oh! It's just a plant. <laughs> Oh, it's a rusty sign, Strawberry. <laughs> you're just gonna, you're gonna get it together. <laughs> be like Blueberry, be like Blueberry, be like Blueberry. Holy hazelnuts! You're never gonna find inspiration for Scary if you're too scared to be inspired. <sighs> Calm down. All right, what's that? Bad plumbing, seriously? <laughs> ah! It is I, Jay Quincy Cupcake. Who dares bake in my present? Me? No, no baking here! It is you! Strawberry shortcake! <laughs> one time I don't want to be recognized for my baking. No one likes your gross country treats. Go back to Berryville! <laughs> <laughs> The universe told me Strawberry was the lucky berry, and now I finally get to meet the ghost of the Berry Works. Put her there, Mr. Cupcake. I... <laughs> oh, Harry. Ah. Oh, have you met Strawberry Shortcake? She's a perfectionist, just like. Huh? Hello. Well, this is the J. Quincy Cupcake. Oh, we should try one of your cupcakes. No, Blueberry, they're hot. That's fine. I've got ice cream fingers, and he's a ghost. Ow! That's hot. <laughs> Gumdrops, you three are the reincarnated spirit of J. Quincy Cupcake? <gasps> I knew it. Raspberry tart? Sour grapes? Bread pudding? Why are you trying to scare me? <gasps> That's it! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Ow. Just checking. It's my spooky surprise cake. Each bite has a new hidden flavor waiting to shock you. Raspberry, then grape, then bread pudding filling. Mmm, that is terrifyingly tasty. How did you ever come up with it? Really, Blueberry? We were together the whole time. Becoming the best baker in the world is my big dream. And big dreams need big places to come true, which is why I left my adorably tiny hometown of Berryville and came to... Hey, hey. Oh, uh, what, what, did, what did you ask me again? If I could scoot past you... Oh, yes, right. Of course, yeah, you just... Okay. Obviously, I'm very excited to follow my dream to all new adventures in my all new home. Every aspiring baker knows that to get discovered, there's only one place to go. Big Apple City! Custard, we're here! A city that's always cooking. It's magical, it's magnificent, it's lady crowded. Whoa, so many berries, excuse me. Whoops, <laughs> coming through, <laughs> oopsie, whoa. There's my favorite niece, <gasps> Aunt Praline! <laughs> Aunt Praline is my super, super cool aunt. When I told her I wanted to move to the big city, she uh, said I could stay with her and she'd help get everything I need to succeed. <laughs> She's the very best. Whoa, 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 crab apple jam, kiki key lime. Kill your purple vine man, no way! 
biggest names in baking all got their start right here. Sure did. And the next big name is... Strawberry Shortcake! Shortcake. I can't wait to get started! A fresh new start, a dash of nerves, a pinch of uh -huh. ear. Okay. First piece of advice, skip the heartfelt song. There's no time. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Every single day, fresh-faced berries arrive in the city. Everyone wants to be the next big thing in baking. You want to be the best? You got to be smarter, faster, focused. Keep your eye on the prize. Right. Focused. Fortunately for you, your in-the-know aunt knows the inside scoop. For example, not every berry knows the first stop in the city has to be... The Berry Works! The what? The Berry Works. Obviously, it's the hottest spot in the city. It has shops, restaurants, and it's where bakers go to get discovered. It's also where my niece is going to get her start in her very own food truck. Aunt Praline, that sounds fantastic. And I'm sure that once I get settled, I'll be ready tomorrow. to... Tomorrow. Excuse me, tomorrow? Tomorrow. But, but, but I just got here. I've barely seen the city. I definitely don't have a food truck. And... Oh, trust me, you gotta just dive in. And you just let me worry about the truck. Now get some rest. Tomorrow's a big day. Love you so much. Okay. Wasn't expecting my dreams to take off quite this fast. But you, you gotta dive in, right? Yeah, okay, I'm ready. I can't wait to see this truck. What? Ta-da! My old truck, the Praline Dream! Ultimately, food trucks were not my jam, okay? But now you can take the truck and make your dreams come true. <laughs> well... All right, hop in, kiddo. Next stop, the Berry Works. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe it's a bit of a fixer-upper, but hey, it has character. Good luck. You're leaving? Mayor Molasses is announcing a new Sparkberry factory and he can't even find the stage without me. But you've got this. <laughs> I'm already proud. You text me later, okay? Bye. Okay, Custard, we've got this. <laughs> Woo. Yep, okay, that's not good. It really was nice of Aunt Praline to give me her old food truck to get started in Big Apple City. It's just that the truck needed a little more work than she realized. Okay, Custard, we can make this work. We just need to... Oh, um, gumdrops! What is that? Hi, my name is Strawberry Shortcake, and I... Yeah, no. I'm not doing peppy and cheerful this early in the morning. Get this thing off Berry Works property before some berry thinks we're the city's new garbage dump. Oh, well, actually, this is my food truck. I mean, sure, it needs a bit of work, but I was gonna... Oh, let me stop you. This is the Berry Works. It's trendy, it's chic, and it's my job to keep it that way. That pile of junk doesn't belong here, and neither do you. Whoa! This might be the worst day ever. <laughs> I can take that off your hands. Name's Lemon Meringue. I love junk, and that is some quality junk. I actually need this junk. I mean truck. It's gonna be my new bakery. Oh, so you want to be our competition. I didn't think. I don't want to be. Just play in. I love competition the way Lemon loves junk. I'm Orange Blossom. Strawberry Shortcake. Nice to meet you, Shortcakes. Let me guess, fresh off the bus? I got here yesterday. Welcome to Big Apple City. I think you'll find most berries here are pretty friendly. I heard we have a brand new berry. Hi, I'm Lime Chiffon. If you have any questions about, well, anything, come to me. I'm kind of an expert on, well, Everything. You smell friendly. I have a good feeling about you. We all have shops here at the Berry Works. I run the Citrus Slice Smoothie Cart. Most energy-fueled smoothies in town. Blueberry Muffin runs the Dreamery Creamery Ice Cream Cart. This month's featured flavor is Raindrop Raisin Drizzle. It tastes like the forest smells right after a thunderstorm. But with raisins. That is today.
definitely unique, yes. And Lemon Meringue and I work at the Lemon Lime Time Cart. If you ever need any... <laughs> huh? <laughs> uh, you okay? Sorry, but Big Apple City's just been a little overwhelming. And you're all just so nice, especially after that berry was so mean this morning. Ugh, bread pudding. Ignore him, we do. He called my truck garbage. Huh? He's not wrong. <sighs> but it does have good energy. Adding baked goods to the mix could be good for business. If I can't take it apart, might as well put it together. Really? You'll help me? What are new berry buddies for? <laughs> this might be the best day ever. Shortcake, and this is my food truck, the Extraordinary Berry. I'm new here, but I'm pretty sure this is exactly where I belong. Mm, nice color, cute name, fun garden. I suppose this will do, but I've got my eyes on you. Wow. <laughs> 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 it's a brand new day, Custard. Gotta get dressed. I forgot to say good morning, Custard. How rude of me. It's my first weekend in Big Apple City. I have to explore, see the sights, take it all in. It's gonna be magical. <laughs> or maybe not. Whoa, whoa, what happened to exploring the city? Yeah, the city feels a little too big for this old country, Barry. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay in today. No, ma'am, I mean, sure, the city can seem big and scary, but you have to get to know it and let it get to know you. Big Apple City is no ordinary city, and you are no ordinary, Barry. So get out there and show the city what you've got. Fresh new start, a dash of nerves, a pinch of fear. I feel my heart beating fast because I'm here. Where to start? What should I do? Big Apple City, how are you? There's so much here to see. And I'd like to introduce you to me. Right? This place can be your paradise! Okay, what's next? Where should I go? So many friends to get to know. You know this city life is pretty sweet. And there's so many awesome berries still to meet. Cause I'm no ordinary berry. There's so much I wanna be. I am more than just one flavor. I'm a complicated recipe. Big plans and bigger dreams. And I'm here to set them free. City. Oh, you'll see the city 
mustard. This is a very important cupcake order. Not now, Custard. I have to finish this special order before tomorrow. It needs to be perfect. Forgot what? This way. Huh. Strawberry. Uh -uh. Forgot. Custard. Uh -uh. Earth Day. <laughs> Custard has her own Earth Day. Uh, there's only one Earth Day. Every day should be Earth Day. <laughs> birthday. <gasps> Strawberry forgot Custard's birthday. Oh. Ah, what's up? You forgot Custard's birthday. I did what now? Are we talking about this birthday? The one that's tomorrow? Huh? Uh -uh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> did you notice me say these needed to be perfect? or what the main ingredient was in this important cupcake order. Aww. <laughs> Lemon! That's cat food! Meh. Mmm, crunchy. <laughs> I was going to throw a surprise party tomorrow, but since every berry and every pet is here now, I guess we get to have the party a day early. Happy birthday, Custard! Happy birthday! <laughs> Lemon, stop eating those! Jen ah! Boss Lacrum is coming! She is the food critic for the Big Apple City Galette. A review from her can make or break a berry's baking career. I'm gonna have to pull out all the pops on this one. See what I did there? Cake pops? Because, yeah. All right, Custard, we are as baked and ready as we'll ever be for Genoise La Creme. I wonder what she looks like. Hey, girl! Excited for Genoise La Creme? Sure am. Since you're new, we just wanted to make sure you're ready. We did? Ugh. I thought you two would love nothing more than for me to fail and have to lug my truck back to Berryville with my sfugly atele between my legs. See what I did there? Sfugly atele? Tail? No? Anyway, we have our differences, but the more good reviews we can get from Jen Waz, the better it'll be for every berry at the Fairy Works. Well, then thanks. A 
Okay, then I'm going to keep an eye out for Jen Waz. <gasps> uh huh. That short, buttercream colored hair, obnoxiously bright floral print shirt. That's not what she. Right. And her hideous, wide brimmed hat. Whoa. Yeah, that is not how I picture Jen Waz at all. But I guess you can't judge a berry by their career ending critical commentary. Thank you. <laughs> I, uh... Hello there. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Well, hey, sugar. I'm... I know who you are. <laughs> Allow me to sweep you off your sweets, Cake Pop. I can't believe she fell for it. While Strawberry woos that random grandma, I'll get the real Jen Waz La Creme to myself. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Head sugar cake my day. <laughs> oh, today was just the tastiest treat. <laughs> you sure know how to bake some berry feel special strawberry shortcake. Oh, you stop it. <laughs> Be sure to share those cupcakes with your cranberries. Ooh, rough day. To put it mildly. Well, I bet it is nothing a cake pop can't make better. Here you go, on the house. That's Genoise La Creme? <laughs> Should have known. <laughs> At the Berry Works, the cake pop is king. Or should I say queen? The sugary purveyor of the extraordinary berry not only makes a divine dessert, but refreshingly treats all of her guests from food critics to out of town grandmas like VIPs. Two crumbs way up. Woo! Not bad for a day's work, Strawberry. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> Is it spaghetti? It's okay, Strawberry. Every berry needs to know how to get around the city on the funnel system. Luckily, you have me to teach you. It can be very complicated, so do exactly what I do and memorize everything I say. Start here at Rhubarb Station and take the Pineapple Express to. <gasps> Yo. Ah! Strawberry. My, my, life! I do. I'm a lost berry. Lost little berry, what you gonna do? Lost little berry, help is gonna find you. Hey there. You okay? Hi. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Can you and your Pet rat, help me? Ferret, actually. He's Red Hot, and I'm Huckleberry Pie. We play here in the funnel system for all our fans. We can probably take a break. Thank you. I have no idea how the funnel system works. <sighs> Figuring it out is easy. You just have to do it. But I don't know what I'm doing. What if I mess up? Just try a little something new, and I promise when you do, won't be as scary as you thought And you'll be fine and make it through I feel a little overwhelmed and filled with fear Oh, you'll be fine Not sure what I should do, it's all unclear Just take your time But what if I choose wrong And mess up this cute song Well, then we'll start again, it's no big deal Just try a little something new And I promise when you do Scary as you thought, and you'll be fine and make it through. So try a little something new, and I promise when you do, it's gonna be all okay. Cause I believe in you. So suddenly I feel 
try a little something new And I promise when you do It won't be as scary as you thought And you'll be fine and make it through So try a little something new And I promise when you do It's gonna be all okay Cause I believe in you It's gonna be all okay Cause I believe in you I love the funnel cake system so you are really talented. Music is my passion. <gasps> like baking for me. Baking? Well, eating is my second passion. Strawberry! Lime? Lime? I found you. Did this rat hurt you? Ferret, actually. And I'm fine. Huckleberry Pie helped me. He's a musician. Actually, Huck, why don't you come with us to the Berry Works? I'm sure every berry would love your music. Uh, sorry, Strawberry. I just can't disappoint my fans down here. Right. Well, at least let me give you a thank you, Cupcake. See ya! Mm. Mm. On second thought, uh, maybe it's time for Red Hot and I to expand our musical horizons. There are more cupcakes at the Berry Works, right? <laughs> <laughs> My costume is perfect. Bright Ball is all about being scary, and a scarecrow literally scares crows! <laughs> right, Custard? I overheard Raspberry Tart and the other Mean Berries saying they didn't think I would even wear a costume to the annual Fright Ball Ball. They clearly don't know this berry. Let's show these big city berries. No berry does Fright Ball like we do. Why are we the only ones dressed up? <coughs> this is my nightmare. Shortcakes, what are you wearing? It's a Fright Ball Ball. Why isn't every berry dressed up? No, this is Peach Trifle's Fall Ball. But Raspberry Tart said... <laughs> <laughs> nice costume. You're definitely the scariest thing at this party. <laughs> yeah, you really need to stop listening to her. What is going on over here? I'm Peach Trifle. This is my event. You are? Strawberry Shortcake. I'm a scarecrow, and this is my crow custard. We're dressed up for Fright Ball. Ta-da! Costumes and cheap scares aren't really what I'm known for. I throw the grandest parties in Big Apple City. Every berry loves them. No offense, but maybe your party could use some costumes and cheap scares. Excuse me? It couldn't hurt to try. The harvest moon hangs in the sky. Scarecrow scare as crows fly by. Somewhere close, a howling cry. Right time has begun. This night feels so mysterious. Chills and thrills in store for us. Don't take it too serious. It's, it's time to have some fun. It's a frightful night, so chill and delightful. We're in Austin, scare a friend. The thrills and chills don't have to be. A frightful night, so join in the fun. Delicious and bright time. Free. Jump and scream, boom! It's kind of fun to be a friend. 
Thanks to Strawberry Shortcake, Big Apple City's annual fall ball is no more. From this year forward, I shall throw the Fright Ball Frightacular! <laughs> Shortcake and her dressy sous chef custard. Custard? Custard? Custard! Shortcake? Huh? What, what happened? Caramel popcorn! I yell when I'm hungry too. I was busy and custard wandered off and now I can't find her, which makes me a terrible person. And an even worse cat, Mom. Popcake always disappears. I think he does laps around the building. I'm pretty sure Parfait eavesdrops. Frappe takes off all the time. You know, when I get too chatty. Sup? Cheesecake runs an underground poker game for other animals. She counts the cards. Blueberry Muffin is very creative with her facts. She makes them up. None of you know where your pets are? Hey, 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 hey. Don't worry, Shortcakes. We'll work together to find all the pets. Thanks. I've studied every inch of the Berry Works. I'll lead the pet rescue. Do we really think the pets wandered in here? Where is here? These are the original storage rooms. It's fascinating, actually. <laughs> Constructed when this was all apple trees, the Big Apple Berry Works led to the small town of Apple Grove becoming Big Apple City. And the apple trees were planted by a magical berry guardian who sprinkled enchanted seeds from high above the clouds. True story. Not true. Custard? Custard! <gasps> oh, 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 oh. painting of Jay Quincy and his wife Henrietta Cupcake. History says her recipes inspired Jay Quincy to start his cupcake factory. Of course, it was the flock of tutti fruity toucans who flew down from the forbidden fruitlands that inspired Henrietta. Again, not true. Tutti fruity toucans are not an actual breed of bird. That's true. Except in the forbidden fruitlands. The forbidden fruitlands are not a thing. Okay, okay, I think we should just focus back on what's important here. Yeah, like why is that whisk upside down? Jay Quincy said great recipes start with whisking. Legends say his whisk was magical and led to his success. That's why he hid it in a secret room and... No, I've researched the berry works for years. No berry guardians, no toucans, no magic whisk, and definitely no secret room. Legends say... History say... All right, all right, enough with the history and the legends. We're here to find the pets, not to talk about why the Berry Works was built, where the secret room is, or why this whisk is upside down. Secret office? I knew it was true. Custard! <laughs> what a cool room! And we never would have found it if it weren't for my kooky cat. Uh, um, what were you saying about those toucans? Well, legends say that tutti fruity toucans can grow as big as airplanes! And they only eat grapes. They don't like anything else. It's really good. Now that is a winter swirl tree. <sighs> All right, let's get to it. Hmm, quick question. Why is Sour Grapes attacking the tree? She decorates it every year. Winter swirl. <laughs> Whoa. Deck the halls. This tree is like my soul. Winter swirl trees should be magical, glowing beacons of hope! Isn't there any berry else who could... Hold the scone. I've got an idea. 
Yeah, lemon would be great, but she's gonna say no. Why? Lighting a tree seems like a totally lemon thing to do. Whoever decorates the tree has to give a speech at the tree lighting. Lemon? Not really an outgoing berry, so why are you making that face? You know who is an outgoing berry? Me! <laughs> who better to turn Lemon into the perfect public speaker? Hi! Yeah, we've decided you're decorating the winter swirl tree this year. <gasps> no, 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 no! I don't do speeches. But you can make this place look more amazing than any other berry. Oh, that is true. And the speech? Pfft, easy once we turn you into a speech-giving machine. Please? Oh. Speech-giving machine activated. Ugh, that sounded better in my head. Fine. What do I do? Use descriptive words. You aren't lighting a tree. You're illuminating the spirit of the season. Uh -huh. Look every berry in the eye with a look that says, hey, you, listen to what I'm saying. Uh -huh. If you get nervous, just think of every berry in their underwear. Gross. And last but not least, smile, be yourself, speak from the heart, and you'll be perfect. You get all that? Uh. Great! Show us what you've got. <gasps> hey there. Arr! So... Arr! I, uh, wanna illuminate the... Lots of spark berries. Underwear! We all have it! In summary, trees. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, that was... Well, see, this is why I never wanted to light the tree in the first place. The thing about being an outgoing berry is sometimes you forget not every berry is as outgoing as you. Um, Lemon? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk at all. I know, I know. Just, just listen. I shouldn't have tried to force you to do something you didn't want to do. You're perfect just the way you are. You're just so good at decorating, huh? Yeah, well, if I didn't have to give a speech, I'd love to. Why are you making that face? The thing about being an outgoing berry is you can speak up for your friends who don't like speaking as much by getting rid of silly rules like having to give a speech. <laughs> My pal Lemon is going to let her work speak for itself. <laughs> <laughs> now that was an awesome speech. Yeah, I am pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs>